going on. Oh, let me uh, turn on my comments on my iPad so I can see you guys. Let's see. So I can see the comments. Of course, there's going to be like a little bit of a lag, but I'm okay with that. If you hop in, say hello. Make sure you speak so I know you're here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just about uh, done mixing the epoxy. Almost. Oh, I forgot gloves. Um, the type of epoxy that I'm using for this is just the Elimolite because I'm not using my expensive stuff just for, for a cup for myself anyway, because, you know, with everything going on, I don't know when I'll be able to get some more for Wurza. I've been hearing that a lot of the, um, suppliers are low and that, um, the actual company is taking forever. But the plan for this is to use the three colors that we voted for. We all voted for um, Halo, Vegas Nights, and Rain. So that's the plan. Hey, Rondine. Who else is here? It's not showing me names. I see three people here. I think we're about mixed up all the way my plan is to do um the epoxy method for whatever reason the comments are popping up but they're disappearing not sure why so so if you ask me something and i miss it guys just ask me again all right let's set this to the side Or two. Okay. So we're going to do a epoxy method for this one. Just because it's easier for me when I hold the cups and I can pour the glitter. Um, I chose black for my base color because I've never done Halo on a black base. And then Vegas Nights is kind of dark and so is rain. <clears throat> so the epoxy method, we only need a little tiny bit and we're going to just smooth it on. And then the rest of it, I'm going to pour into some more keychain um, letter molds. I don't know if I'm going to do keychains or maybe some magnets. I don't know. So the way that I do it is I just pour, you know, I don't even want to pour it because it's a lot. I'm just going to take some, kind of put it on the top and then drag it down. I do like using a black base because I can see every little spot that I miss, especially with this um, matte black. I can see like the spots that didn't get any epoxy. <clears throat> What's everybody up to who's stuck at home like me? bit more you really don't need a lot for the epoxy method and you want it it's supposed to be kind of hard to drag it down that's how thin of a coat we want it to be <clears throat> hey Carolyn it's popping up names and then they're disappearing. So I'm not really seeing 
the comments pop up. Like I can see where Carolyn commented, but for whatever reason they're disappearing. Not really sure what that is about. Hey Carolyn, what you up to? Alright, so I think I got it covered. And you want to make sure that you get all the way around the edge. Alright, so the first color, I guess we'll do like a glitter swirl. I wasn't really sure how I was going to do this. But I'm thinking a glitter swirl is going to be good. I just like to hold mine because I get a little more control. And then I can kind of play with it. With my chunky glitters, I like to try and like pour a little bit so it doesn't go everywhere, especially with these light flakes. And I don't want this to be perfect because I'm not even sure. I might just turn this into a peekaboo. I'm not even sure how I want to do this. But I love Vegas Nights. Let's see how sparkly that is. And I poured this one into a cup. Just kind of shake off the extra. Pat down some of these chunky flakes so it won't be so hard to cover later. Um, I think I want Vegas Nights. No, I don't want Vegas Nights on the bottom because that's going to make it hard to cover the bottom. I was kind of scared about the colors I picked at first because I was like, oh, I don't know what this is going to look like. But these two colors I know look good together because I think they're the two colors that Shelly used on a cup she made me. I think I'm going to go with that on the bottom. I think that looks good. And then let's switch colors. What's everybody up to today? It's coming off like I wanted to. Probably should have got it brand new piece but it's okay here's your halo i think i want to go right next to it i've never used halo on a black base before so i wasn't sure how this was going to come out if it was still going to show up white or a different color no, but it looks like it's starting to get like a green kind of tint to it, the iridescence on it. It still looks really cool though. Try not to waste too much glitter, but... I use these um, mixes, mix messes on my um, on my in my keychains, and then I also use them in my galaxy mixes for like my lamps and stuff. 
too much came out. It's okay. Just keep going. So pretty. can't see any comments at all so I don't know what's happening with Facebook and my lives but that's okay I know I can if I if you have any questions still comment and I'll just come back to it later when I get back oh shoot didn't mean to do that that's okay Okay, got that on. I'll probably end up going back and doing a second coat of Halo. Because, yeah, it's thin on the black area, so. But that's okay though. I'm okay with it. really good. Pour that back. Let's go with Halo. No, brain. Try to get a thin middle. Middle, middle. I think we did pretty good. There we go. Our three color. They actually came out way bigger than I thought it was going to be. The color choices came out pretty good. I'll probably do a second coat after this dries. So with the um, hang method for this, hang method. Yeah, with the epoxy method, hang method, whatever you want to call it, for 
applying your glitter. I usually let mine dry completely at least eight hours because I don't want it to, um, the, you know, colors to start to bleed everywhere or if I spray anything on top of it, I don't want it to come off or anything. And this is just me trying to lay down some of the chunkier pieces so that I don't have too much to try and lay down or cover as, you know, I add my epoxy layers. It just makes it easier. Yeah, some of it comes off and it's okay. It's still covering. And that just makes them lay flat. So I won't have to use so many coats. Cool. So yeah, so I'm gonna set this to the side. So I don't want it to get messed up. Clean this up. I still have the rest of this epoxy that I can play with. I think I want to do a couple more of these. Let me get this so y'all can see. I found this mold on Amazon. I've seen it from a couple of different companies, and it was just you know quicker to get on Amazon. Nothing against getting it from you know somewhere else. I'm trying to find it cheaper for myself to sell, you know, because it's so expensive and it's, it's heavier and bigger than a lot of other molds. So it's going to be typically be a little more expensive to ship to. So here I have what I created as a dump cup um, just now. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and it's gonna go on the keychain um guess i could just pour all of this in here actually pour a little bit in there stir it in oops it's so pretty Happy accident. You guys chose three good colors that look really well together. And then it's pretty, pretty mixed in. I'm going to do a K for myself. And then... Let's do a P for peach tree glitter. Maybe I'll give this P away. What other letter should I do? Who's on here? Who wants one? Oh my God, see all of them just pop. All of them, I don't know what is going on. All of the comments just popped up at one time. Let me see. Okay, so Kimmy better make the tip. Rondi, this is one of those um those fold up dinner table thingies. Okay, Carolyn said let's do a C for Carolyn. I think I have enough for one more. Let 
this is a good color mix, guys. You guys picked a really good color. Yep, I got enough for maybe one more. What else another color? Who else is in here? Um, a T, Tanya. All right, girl. Okay. I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. Go back and overfill these a little. Well, I mean, I don't think it's enough for our, it might be a little late. We'll try. We might have just got lucky. Yep, got the R. A little bit extra. Yep. It's so pretty. I never thought to mix these three together. Came out really nice. So yeah, that's all I was gonna really work on today. I mean, really wasn't planning on doing all these, but. But they came out so good. Okay, that's cleaned off. But yeah, so oh, I was supposed to fill these. I did these. Uh, I found this coaster mold. Um, can't remember where I got it from. I'll have to look it up. But uh, this is like the four piece geode, like the one that you know sits like that with all four pieces. And I have to finish making it. So. On this side, I did, did it with micas and glitter. And on this side, I put an A on there for my, it's not for my best word. And I'm gonna, you know, seal in the A. I haven't done that yet. But I like that you can use either side of it. And they just came out really cool. And they all look like a little bit different, but the same shape. <clears throat> see why the why okay comment what color what color is on the cup on the cup is the top three colors that we did that we voted for which is vegas nights which is the really really sparkly color let's get a little close so you can see the vegas nights and then rain and then halo Let me grab my iPad because I can't figure out why. Oh, there we go. Oh, what font is the A? Uh, I'm not sure, but I can look, Kayla, and see what font the A is. I'm not sure. But I'll um, remind me, and I'll look for it. I use it all the time. Any other questions? I'm going to have to remember this little mix that we made because it's, it's nice. It doesn't look all that great in the cup, but once you mix it in the epoxy, it's pretty dope. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here because I'm tired and I will talk to you guys later in the group. You can still comment on the slide. I'll answer any questions that you have. I'm going to do a second coat on this cup. I'm going to let it cure for probably about eight hours or so. so I'm going to do spray adhesive for another coat probably because it's just quicker. Um, and then seal it really, really good again. And then um, after that, I'll put my, you know, my flood coat on. And I might go live on one of those steps. I'm not sure yet, but... We will see. I know y'all made a custom mix, Carolyn. See, then I'm going to have to work that out. 
I'm gonna have to see what I can come up with with my vendors to see if they can, if I can order more of it and mix it myself or if they can make it for me, but we'll see. All right, guys, I will talk to y'all later.